So this week's install was a 2018 Tiffin Model 40IH and uh, the system came together pretty well. Let me show you some of the things about it. So the inverter install that we did, we installed a Multi Plus 2 2x120. It is mounted in the same bay as the OEM and Magnum installed inverter. Uh, it's just mounted on the wall instead of being mounted on the ceiling. We are using the same OEM switches for battery power for the coach DC battery power and the inverter battery power. So there's no new systems to learn that way. What we ended up having to do was run an AC wire from the location of the stock automatic transfer switch from in the rear all the way up to the front to go into the inverter and then back to the, the transfer switch so that the inverter is going to receive the power as soon as it comes in from either the generator or the shore power connection and then power will feed from the inverter directly to the the main circuit breaker panel. So the batteries that we installed in this coach, we ended up going with two GC3 game changer batteries from Battleborn. They are 270 amp hours each. Uh, they are individually run to a uh, Lynx distributor, which we did the light kit for. So it lights up to indicate whether or not your fuses are good or bad. We installed a Smart Solar MPPT 15085 to harvest the sun through six solar panels up mounted up onto the roof. And then a smart shunt in order to keep track of the power usage. There's enough space in this compartment that uh, if the customer deems that two batteries are not going to be enough to cover his power needs or if he wants to upgrade in the future, we've set everything up so that it will be a simple addition of just cutting two new wires to the same length and putting the, the third battery in its place and using the same components so it's an easy install. So this is the display for the spider system in the Tiffin along with the display for the Victron system allowing you to have full access to the native Victron system as a whole so you can see exactly what's going on with the inverters. Unfortunately, at this point, what we don't have is integration to go from the Magnum inverter that came OEM in this coach to the, the Victron native system. We're getting there. However, what we do have the ability to do is to basically tell this system that the inverter is providing a, uh, a single phase source of power so that the energy management system of the coach is going to be able to throttle devices based on the fact that it's only receiving 2,400 watts from the inverter itself. So it's not going to allow you to run two air conditioners at the same time. So that's a big plus. So just a little bit of data on how this, this install is performing. With its two GC3 batteries, for overnight, the battery capacity was drained down to about 70%. By the time I started charging this morning, it was just over 70%. Through the harvest today, we had pretty clear skies, but we are talking about the, uh, the back end of the winter solstice. So the days are still pretty short. The, the sun is still pretty low in the sky. Uh, we've been able to harvest over 3.2 kilowatts of solar power back into these battery banks that allowed it to recharge the battery bank to 100% by approximately two o'clock this afternoon. And it was able to then uh, continue to use or consume another 1.7 kilowatts of power. The only thing running on this fridge right now has been a residential refrigerator, but this is a perfect example of being able to recoup battery power without having to run the generator to keep the systems functioning so that you can continue to live.